Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cook to Flourish kitchen in partnership with Where the Red Fern Grows Farms. So today we're going to make an easy Italian casserole that's actually featured in our Cook to Flourish cookbook. So I'm super excited to share this with you and we are going to use some of our CSA veggies in this dish. So we are especially going to highlight this CSA spinach and we're going to hide this into our Italian casserole. Now if you also have some CSA onions or fresh garlic or if you have any frozen or fresh basil from this previous season of the CSA share, feel free to get those out and put them into the casserole. So what we have already cooked is we have a pound of either grass-fed organic ground beef. You could do ground turkey, you could do ground venison, whatever meat you prefer. That's what we're going to do. One pound of that. So cook that and then we're going to add to that meat one cup of minced mushrooms. You could do baby bella, you could do the white mushrooms, and then we're also gonna need one cup of minced fresh onion, okay? So we have these all cooked in here. It took about eight to 10 minutes for those veggies to cook. So the mushrooms and the onions. Now we're going to cook this spinach. So we're gonna turn the heat back on. We're gonna add two cups of slicely chopped spinach. We're gonna add that to our dish. That's gonna cook down. And we're also going to add a can of sliced olives here preferably getting the olives that don't have the added preservatives in there. So we're gonna add those olives in here. Now, if you're not an olive person, you can leave them out. Now, if you do like either red bell pepper or green bell pepper, you could do minced bell pepper in here and saute that in with the onions and the mushrooms instead of the olives, if you prefer. Also, if you enjoy artichokes, like I do, you could do some artichoke hearts as well. So that's an added thing that you could put into this dish. Super simple. You could either do the artichoke halves that are grilled. You can drain off the oil, chop them and put them in here. Or you could do just the artichoke hearts that are in water. You could mince those up and add them to this dish as well. So you can add some different flavors just to make this dish come alive and adding some beautiful flavors and different nutrients. So we're gonna let this spinach cook down in here for a few minutes. I'm gonna turn this up just a smidge. We're also going to need some dried Italian herbs and you could even use some of your fresh basil or fresh frozen basil from the summer. This would be fantastic in here. So I did one tablespoon of organic Italian dried herbs. Then also we're gonna do one tablespoon of organic dried fennel. So we're gonna put that in here as well. And whenever we use that dried fennel, I think it makes it taste more like you're using Italian sausage. And also, fun fact, spin or fennel is fantastic for digestion. So that's a wonderful added bonus for that fennel. So we're just gonna saute this together. So this can be a fun way to get your greens in. And of course, we can do a nice Italian salad on the side. That would be a great use for the rest of our spinach or arugula or whatever CSA greens you have in your share for this week. Another thing you're gonna want to have already cooked is some fresh pasta. So I did one box of the lentil pasta. You could do organic whole wheat pasta if you prefer, or brown rice pasta, or if you're going grain free altogether, you could do a spaghetti squash. So you can bake that whole actually. So I like to wash it and then dry it off and then poke it once or twice really well, okay? And then you stick that whole squash into the oven, either on a glass dish or just on the oven grate at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes to 60 minutes. And then out comes this beautiful football, just about. <laughs> but anyway, then you can cut it in half, scoop out the seeds and throw them away, and then scoop out the noodles, okay, or the spaghetti. So that's another way that you could make this dish. And it is fantastic that way as well. So you don't even have to use real pasta. So it's just been a couple of minutes and our spinach is cooking down. So we're almost done. We're gonna give it just a few more minutes. So this is one of our family favorite ways to do what we call hide and sneak. I'm sure you moms out there are really good at the hide and sneak technique. So we're getting the mushrooms in here. We're getting the uh, onion in here. Also, we added a garlic clove. I didn't tell you that. So you could do a CSA garlic clove, either, either minced or pressed here into the meat. 
and cook that all together. I wish you could smell it. It smells really, really good. The fennel is really adding some fragrance. Also our Italian herbs. So, so, so good. Then you're also gonna wanna have handy either a, a prepared marinara or if you wanted to do just a can of organic tomato sauce and tomato paste, you could do it that way too. But we're taking the easy route and we're doing the already prepared organic marinara. This particular one is from Aldi's. Sometimes Costco has a good one as well. Or if you have a family favorite recipe, feel free to make up your own marinara and add it to this dish. So this is kind of going to come together like a baked ziti, basically. All right, so now our spinach, it is nice and emerald green. It is cooked down. So we're gonna turn off the heat and now we're going to add our pasta. Woo in comes our pasta. And we're gonna add our marinara, so a whole jar of the marinara. Very good. And then if you want to add cheese, you certainly can. Or, you, so you could do cheese or no cheese. You could do either organic mozzarella cheese, or you could even do goat cheese. You could do feta cheese. So lots of different options with that. I'm actually gonna use goat cheese. So sometimes people tolerate that a little bit better. All right, so mixing this all together. Oh, so good. Italian food can be so comforting. And what a great way to make it healthier with spinach. Okay, so I'm gonna switch pans here. So you're just gonna need a glass baking dish. And this actually may make two batches for this type of a pan. So I'm gonna put as much as I can into this pan here. Isn't it just beautiful? So beautiful. Oh man, so amazing. All right, so we're gonna fill that up. And now we're going to add our goat cheese. So I'm just gonna do like crumb, uh, crumbled goat cheese here on top. And we're just gonna let that melt in the oven. So then I would bake this at 350 degrees for 10 to 20 minutes. Let that goat cheese get all nice and melted. Let all those flavors marry together. Oh, so, so good. You could do Parmesan cheese on top too, if you wanted. And you could even do a drizzle of a little bit of olive oil after it comes out of the oven. And a little bit of extra dried basil on top will be amazing as well. So here we have it, my friends, our easy Italian casserole. Thank you so much and God bless you.